another Dokkan battle video. We have got the celebration info for the worldwide download celebration. Um, we can see all of the delicious info coming up right here. So, let's just go ahead and jump in. Let, let's get into the big meat and potatoes of everything. We've got a lot of the normal stuff, right? We got login, we got missions, right? All that type of stuff. And then we get to this. So, um, we have a new format coming this year, right? Uh, what we have is Cooler is a traditional Dokkan Festival LR. Um, and then Goku is a new legendary summon carnival, right? Is what this is going to be called. Now, we have, um, here of course is the global celebration info. This is what it's looking like. Dokkan Festival for Cooler, legendary summon carnival for Goku. Um, we will have to wait for the Dokkan now for more details. Um, but I think that this is good. Very clearly, right, Goku is not just like some yellow coin LR with a 150% leader skill. I would advise people to just sort of like, like, get the full details before going crazy. Um, I will predict that Goku is going to be very crazy and he's going to have a very good leader skill. And I think his banner is probably going to be fairly good as well. Um, as you guys can see, there is seven featured LRs on Goku's banner. Goku's banner has seven featured LRs. So uh, I do think that Goku's banner is probably going to be pretty good. And Goku's probably going to be pretty good. Uh, we'll see how this might interact. Um, I'm assuming, since this is a carnival, that Goku will become a blue coin unit. And I think these carnival characters will start being blue coin LRs. So I think there's going to be red coin units, typical Dokkan Fest. There still will be yellow coin characters. And then I now think that blue coin characters, starting with Goku, are now going to be a thing as well. But we'll we'll, we'll see once we get all of the full details, right? Um, here, of course, is the uh, teaser for a Cooler's Dokkan event getting updated. Um, there is, uh, so there's the 50 tickets, right? There's going to be, a, a you know, just like one of these anniversary sort of like summons and stuff like that. Um, see, this is the, the missions to get these 50 special summon tickets, right? So that's going to be pretty cool to see. Uh, by the way, Global does have packs. Must be nice to be a Global player, huh? With the pack, Always with the packs. Right? Always, always, always. And then, of course, right here we have, um, the campaign. The, the sort of co-op campaign. We got the SNS thing, which can give us, uh, tickets and stones and stuff like that. Here, of course, is the actual uh, banner itself, right, for the 50 special summon. Um, I assume we're going to have to do missions throughout the entirety of the celebration uh, before we're going to be able to actually go ahead and do that summon, right? Uh, and then we have the, uh, like, W Dokkan Festival for... This is all of the previous Dokkan Fests. Uh, Memorial Stones are already being sent out, right? Um, and we are going to be able to get them sort of as time goes on, which is going to be very, very good. Um, so we have that. Let's see what else we got. Um, th th then, of course, this right here again. This is the Memorial Stones. Um, you know, we'll be able to trade those in for tickets. Or you could trade it in for exclusive, char like, specific characters. I think the cost is 150 right? Um, I don't know how much of a big deal it's going to be. Like, I, I think free-to-play players can expect around 100 of the uh, Memorial Stones, which is not going to be enough to actually buy a specific character, right? I remember that was a big controversy two years, but I don't... I don't really think it's that big of a deal. They could have definitely lowered the price, but, I mean, the tickets are going to give you a uh, better value anyway, right? Um, so this right here, this is we're going to be able to get uh, characters with a red stone. Um, and then there is also a purple stone that we'll be able to buy. You know, again, sort of uh, typical like type of like content stuff right there um, with these stones. The only thing is that the red stones usually is not that great. And I, it's a little bit bizarre this year. By the way, there is five boosts that we have right now, uh, which is interesting. But this, I think, is a little bit weird right here, right? So if we go in, they let you get Dokkan Awakened, STR Gogeta, and Int Janemba. But then the rest of the characters in here are not Dokkan Awakened like that. I do think that that's a little bizarre, I would say. A little bit, little bit odd. <laughs> Little, little bit odd. I don't know why they just specifically picked them. Oh, oh, but they come... Oh. 
Wait, they don't all come with... No. Oh, that's good, actually. So now every character comes with two Elder Kais. I see. And then Gogeta and Janema come with a couple of other characters. Interesting. Um... I feel like you're better off getting one of the other characters that has Elder Kais, though. Really. That, that is a nice change. That, that does seem to be a little bit more beneficial than previous. Because, like, I look at this. This is not... Unless these two easy A, right? These two already have easy A. You don't, definitely don't want to do that. Maybe the Gogeta pack could be good if those characters do easy A. I guess, I guess it, is, it is possible, right? All right, let's go back to the celebration info here. There is a lot here. Because, of course, I mean, this is... I think this is potentially setting up as the best celebration in Dokkan history. We'll, we'll, we'll see how things are going to keep going, right? But it definitely is looking good. Um, so, of course, the, the purple stone you do have to buy, right? It's, a, it's of course, a, like a, a pack to buy in there. Um, there's a big stone sale as well, which is always good. Um, so here we have the new story events. This is where we'll be able to awaken the tech cooler free-to-play character, as well as the Goku and Gohan exchange unit. Um, both of those characters are definitely going to easy A. Right now, they suck balls, but um, they might be pretty good a little bit later on. Okay, so these two right here, this stuff is really good. Let's go ahead and flip over. So what we have, this is essentially the launch event or you know from a couple years ago or the Bulma event from last year, right? This is an event that we could do um, once a week, which will give us 30 stones. So we're going to be able to do this, what, like, six times throughout the celebration we'll be able to get 30 stones it's going to be absolutely nutty right here doing this right like that's that's a huge amount of stones and then this is crazy so we'll be able to get uh skill orbs for either movie hero characters or movie bosses characters we could see that's you know the piccolo that we saw um in the data download it's because he's the boss right here but if if we scroll up well it, it, i don't think it was in the global info but if we scroll up right here, we can also see that that same Piccolo um, is indeed the banner units on Cooler's banner right there. Piccolo. Surely Piccolo will be good this year, right? There's no way he's going to be ass this year. No way. No way. Um, okay, so we have a new, like, new Red Zone stages. Um, this is Ultimate Red Zone Wicked Bloodline Edition. Um, I believe the two stages are live right now. There's a fight against Frieza and a fight against Cooler. Uh, I'm expecting these will probably be the toughest fights in the game, but we'll see. We will uh, certainly see once we actually jump in there. I I don't know. It, depending upon if more uh, stages get added to this during the celebration, right? But I, I could certainly see whatever the final fight is in this Wicked Bloodline thing could be the strongest fight in the game. Uh, now, this is cool right here. So, they're actually adding new missions to the GT Red Zone. Um, I believe it's to beat Omega in seven turns. Beat Omega with a super class team of every typing. So AGL, Tech, Int, STR, and Physical. And then also beat Omega uh, with an extreme class team of every type. So AGL, Tech, Int, STR, Physical. Right? That's good. Um, I think that this exact type of content is something that they could easily replicate constantly. Right? Adding missions to pre-existing difficult content. This is something they really should be doing a little bit more often. Just something as simple as this is actually pretty fun, right? I think that this is really promising when they're doing stuff like this. And new red zone stages, too. We're looking good so far. Um, we have a new boss rush uh, stage right here. Um, I believe on global it's stage 15 and on JP it's stage 16, I believe. Um, then this. So, <clears throat> actually... I guess this is probably going to be the new hardest event in the game. Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline. Good chance this is actually probably harder than the Red Zone, huh? So it's like, they're giving us a lot of content, man. You know, we have Red Zone. Then we get Wicked Bloodline Red Zone. We have the Cell Max fight. And then now we have another new challenge event. Who knows, though, right? Maybe the Red Zone Freeze and Cooler fights will be harder. Uh, maybe that this will just be similar to, like, Collection of Epic Battles or something like that. It's it's hard to say for sure. There's no date on this as well. Um, so who knows? I would say that there's potentially a decent chance that this will just drop with Goku and Cooler. Uh, Goku and Cooler come out in about 48 hours, by the way. 
Okay, so we have that. That, of course, is the new difficult content event. Uh, we have the Elder Kai banners right there. Your boy's going to have to hop into that right away. Uh, we got Dokkan Battlefield, which is on the 29th. Okay, 29th, it's up. Uh, on the 1st, we'll be able to buy the keys, right, um, to get the guaranteed link level event. Um, and then the thing that's very good about this um, is, bam, right here, uh, it's coming to global as well. The guaranteed link level stage and the key packs, right? You buy the key packs, you can do this at the first of every month, uh, and then you're able to do this stage right here, which gives you guaranteed 100% chance to link level up. Um, it is pay to win, right? Uh, if you don't mind spending money, there is no better value in the game. Uh, I believe you, you get stones with every, uh, like, purchase of the keys as well. So it just works out very, very well, right? Okay, so we have that. Um, we have the EZAs right here for Namek, Goku, and Full Power Frieza as well. Um, my expectations for them are not too high. Um, I would say there's, like, virtually no chance this guy replaces AGL, uh, Full Power Frieza right here. Uh, th there's no way. This guy is replacing full power freeze. I, I just don't see it, right? Um, and then this guy, I, I, I probably have better hopes for the Namek Goku than I do the full power. I think the full power freeze is potentially going to be iffy. Um, and then again, remember there's the key event and stuff like that and the keys and all that. All right, so we got that. So we got the easy A's. Uh, looks like we're going to get sub easy A's. I'm actually curious. <clears throat> is it? It's one. Is it? Is it one cooler? Just tech cooler? I think it's probably just going to be the tech final form cooler. This is on... Oh, yeah. It's already been up. I assume this is probably dropping with uh, Goku and Frieza. So, if we take a look... Yeah, I think... It's going to be this cooler right here. This is going to be the one that's going to easy A. Uh, we'll see if he's any good. Obviously, he's not going to be uh, matching up with uh, the Dokkan Fest LR Final Form Cooler, but, you know, we'll see how good he might be. Um, throughout the entirety of the celebration, the boosts, the the restoration time is shortened, and we get five boosts. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, we got the potential orbs up every single day also. Um, there's another one of these big Zenny campaigns to get a ton of Zenny. Um, and then the countdown celebration stuff is still here as well. So let me know what you guys think of the celebration. Obviously, the big thing everyone is going to be debating about and wondering, how good is this new format going to be? To me, it makes sense. They're going to drop a Dokkan Fest in Part 1 and a Dokkan Fest in Part 2. And they're going to drop a Legendary Summon Carnival in Part 1 and a Legendary Summon Carnival in Part 2. Right, And we'll see how good this is going to be. Let me know what you guys think of the new format here. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.